the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From a lettuce, Paul had the presbyters of the church in Ephesus summoned. And when he came to them, he addressed them, You know how I have lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen there, I do not know, except that one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preach the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you showered down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished. Your flock excelled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens, God who is our salvation. God is saving, is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passage ways of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, 
Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belonged to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them. And they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you and have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And no, now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. listening to this beautiful prayer of Jesus to his Father. And I love this line. It struck me this morning because we don't, we don't always think of it. It's Jesus saying, I pray for them. Of course, what he's saying here is he's praying for all of us. And we don't always think about that. You know, we think, well, we have to pray to Jesus for, for help, receive deeper help from him. But here he is revealing for all of us that he is eternally interceding for each of us before the Father. And, it's, and his prayer, of course, is much more beautiful than ours. It's, it's, and the Father looks upon his prayer as one of the greatest gifts, not one of the greatest gifts, as the greatest gift in return to him. Um, as G Jesus is making that return to him, always praying for us. And in a way, it's for us just to give... I mean, there's, it's more, but it's, it's for us to give in to that beauty, that, that wonder that, of what Jesus is doing. And it goes a little bit further as well because of our, our closeness to Jesus, our deep unitedness with him. When we are inspired to offer prayer, we're, we're really doing it in union with Jesus. So we, when, we, when we offer our prayers, it's not just when we offer our petitions, especially it's not just us doing it alone, but it is us joining our voice to the voice of Jesus as he proclaims before the Father. That's part of the gift of our baptism. That's also part of the gift of the Eucharist when we are fed, made, made more deeply in union with Jesus. And just for our, for our prayer practice, it's important like, just to ask the Lord, give me the desire that you want me to pray for so that we can be more and more united, more and more united, in that prayer before the Father. Just to go back to that first truth, Jesus is praying for us right now and for the whole world, for all that the Father has given to him. Let's stand together and offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. That the Holy Spirit may enkindle the fire of his love in the hearts of our bishops during this Easter season, we pray to the Lord. That judges and magistrates, whose decisions affect the lives of many, may be guided by the Holy Spirit in embracing principles of fairness and mercy, we pray to the Lord. For peace and justice in our cities and an end to violence, we pray to the Lord. That Jesus may keep us faithful to God's call to serve him in our relationships with family, neighbors, friends, and strangers, we pray to the Lord. And for all of those who have died, especially for Rita Miller, for whom this Mass is being offered, May they rejoice in the presence of God and the eternal life given by Christ. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, everything that is yours, you have given your Son. Hear and answer the prayers we offer today through him who is Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may, we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his dis disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We'll pray our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.